Shalom, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Harakakwadash, double honors to my old apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the Akim of Great Millstone pushing his truth throughout the four corners of the earth in these last days. Shalom. All right, and uh, the title of this video will be uh, World War Three is uh, Inevitable, or the, thir the Third Woe that's uh, prophesied in the scriptures. All right. And we're going to watch this quick clip and uh, get into the, uh, the lesson. International concern over his troop buildup on the Ukraine border. Here in the U.S., one top military commander says the chances of nuclear war are actually increasing. National Security Correspondent Jennifer, Jennifer Griffin tells us about it tonight from the Pentagon. Russian President Vladimir Putin issued a stark warning to the U.S. and NATO during his annual State of the Nation address to Parliament. And, and why, 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 why is World War III becoming more of a a, a reality? Is 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 not because last year it was people was making memes of you know being drafted into World War III, and it was just it was all fun and games. You know, but now people are 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 seeing it that it's actually, you know, it's actually about to happen. You know, Russia not playing. The Lord, like the scripture says, the Lord uh, muster of the battle. You know, so the Lord causing these different, you know, uh, trade wars and, you know, um, these sanctions the U.S. puts, you know, on, on these EU nations and stuff like all that's that's stirring up, you know. You know that's 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 stirring up mess. You know it's gonna be that's gonna put put fuel in the fire. You know to cause World War Three. You know these these other nations are already sick of uh, of America. All right, Babylon the Great, that great whore. All right, that's that's sit uh that's sit of upon many nations. I hope that no one dares to cross the red line in respect to Russia. And we will determine where it is in each specific case. Putin spoke as Russia continues a massive military buildup on the border with Ukraine. New satellite images show dozens of fighter jets lined up on tarmacs in southern Russia and Crimea. Top U.S. military commanders warned that new threats facing the U.S. have them seriously worried for the first time that U.S. adversaries may consider using a nuclear weapon as the, quote, least bad option. The admiral in charge of America's nuclear arsenal says it's the first time in history the U.S. has had to deter two nuclear powers at the same time, Russia and China. And these, these other nations, like the scripture says, uh, let the let the weak sound strong. All right. And uh, uh, I think it's that like Ezekiel 38. All right. So, you know, Russia not the only one with nuclear capabilities, you know, and they're going to join band with Russia. These other EU nations like China and Iran, they're going to uh, band with Russia and, f and fight against that whore, that great whore, America. The... I'm gonna put it like this: These ICBM missiles wasn't uh, created uh, for no reason, just for show. You know, the scriptures tell you uh, the Lord created the smith that blew up the coals. The coals, it's like you. Those just those just scientists, the ones that actually, you know, you know, uh, getting to, you know, the uh, making these missiles and everything. Not deter with the leftovers of the Cold War forever into the future. And the, the uh, these ICBM missiles is is way more deadlier than the, the atomic bomb. All right, one one minute I can call Paz and Bob. It's lucky. All right. Sure, that is a seventy eras weapon system that I'm going to have to employ against 2030 level threats. Some Democrats want to scrap one leg of the nuclear triad, the 400 ground-based missiles currently in silos across three states. The head of strategic command says he needs to replace, not update, those 50-year-old Minuteman three missiles. Democrats don't like the price tag. You know, we're currently spending $44.5 billion a year on nuclear weapons. And I know that Stratcom likes spending that money. 
Okay. But I don't. The U.S. stopped keeping nuclear-capable bombers like these B-52s in Louisiana on 24-hour alert in 1991. But Admiral Richard warns if the U.S. scraps its ground-based missiles, it would have to rely too much on submarine-launched nukes. Under those conditions, I would request to re-alert the bombers. Putin boasted today that Russia will have modernized more than 88% of its nuclear weapons by the end of this year. And Russia got 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 new stuff, uh, you know, missiles that can cause radiation in the water and everything. So Russia, you know, Russia been putting in work for us, uh, in advancing their uh, nuclear capabilities. You know, they haven't been listening to, uh, you know, the America about sanctions and, um, you know, on the, on the missiles and whatnot. You know, they like fuck all that. We about to. You know, get more missiles than you. Admiral Richard says the U.S. hasn't started. Brett? Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you. All right, hold on. All right, I'm going to start over with this one. This Isaiah 34, <clears throat> Isaiah 34 and 1. Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. All right. For the in, 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 indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. All right. So the Lord and the Lord going to uh, put his righteous wrath, his anger on you other nations using these uh, these missiles. All right. And the, uh, the laser beams from those chariots going to, you know, destroy you people as well. All right, you uh, NATO and EU nations, you know, and the, the Lord is causing you to, to fight, fight, fight each other, you know, and to, to destroy, you know, destroy everything y'all have, this this confederation that y'all have, all right? Like the scripture says, if Satan be divided, uh, if Satan be divided against himself, he can, his house cannot stand but have an end. Hold on, okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, and it says, For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. All right, and all, all you all you soldiers that go, go to World War III, y'all not coming back. <clears throat> All right. Let me one. All right, verse three. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses, and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. And how how the mountains going to be melted with their blood with those missiles? And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the host. And the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll. I right, talking about those those uh those those clouds that after a missile hits, you know, it creates a mushroom cloud. You're gonna be seeing a lot of those. You know, the wicked gonna be seeing a lot of <laughs> gonna be seeing a lot of those mushroom clouds. And it says, and all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth off the fig off from the vine. And as a falling fig from the fig tree, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea, talking about Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and his whole his whole nation, all right, his whole race, and upon and upon the people of my curse to judgment, all right, because you know East when you go to Psalms the eighty third chapter, Esau, the so-called white man, you you been chief. <clears throat> You've been chief in oppressing the Israelites. You know, you're our number one enemy. You know, and then after you, it got uh, the Lord list the other other nations that that's our enemy. All right. And they so happen to be a, a part of, uh, you know, the NATO and the EU. All right. And the, the UN as well. Alright, let's sit on that one. 
It's Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. And his name is, is Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. Yahweh being the, the name of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shah being the name of the only begotten Son. All right. And and there are men there are, there are men of war. All right. And that that hold on. <clears throat> you know and and that to, that totally dis, debunks that 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 Christian that uh that God is all love. All right. No, he he's not all love. The Lord hates too, and the Lord hates you so-called white people. Uh, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. You know? Get more on these missiles. This uh Joel three and two. I will I will gather so like it, Joel three and two. I will also gather all nations. So like I will also gather all nations, and so the Lord is is the one mustering the battle. You know, the Lord is the one getting these nations prepared for uh, World War Three. He's putting in in a, in a uh, which I got the priesthood next lined up. You know, in the heart 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 of these uh, of these kings. All right, to you know prepare for war. You know, start start. Getting your plans together, your strategizing and all that, you know. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Yahweh Shapat. All right, and I and will plead with them. All right, I'm gonna get, I want to get that word too. Let me f finish reading it. And will plead uh, with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, Yahshua Allah. All right, talking about you so-called uh, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You know, the Lord is doing this for the elect, who are Israelites. All right, princes of the power. <clears throat> you know, that's why the men, us men of the Lord, beginning with the elder apostles of Great Millstone on down, we always say, you know, vengeance is of the Lord. The Lord is our Redeemer. Yahweh Bashmel Shah is our Redeemer. You know, we not about to be carnal and, uh, you know, Try to go against Esau, this damn devil carnally. The Lord, the Lord, gonna do it, you know. And once the Lord uh del del deliver us out of this uh captivity, the Lord is gonna you know give us the power to go, you know. Uh, we're we're gonna be turned into that battle axe of Yahweh Shemel Shai, because right now we we fish we fishers of men, you know. We just gathering the whole elect with this word, this truth, you know, using this word, this uh. Worldwide well, all right. The YouTube, the Urim and the Thummim. But then the Lord is going to turn us into those hunters, and we're going to hunt. We're going to go, going to be hunting you, you uh, other nations down as slaves, you know, and conquering. And it says, um, "Whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land." All right, so you know, you other nations have to pay for that. I'm gonna get, I want to get that word, plead, Joel 3 and 2. So like, what the heck? Here we go. This uh Hebrews eighty one ninety nine uh Shafat. It says to judge, govern, vindicate, punish. All right. <clears throat> that, that's that's pretty much the point. It. it it breaks us. It, it gets better and better, but you know, that's that's what I wanted. This is the point I wanted to judge, govern, vindicate, punish. So the Lord is about to punish you, other nations. And the men of the Lord, beginning with the elder apostles of Great Millstone on down, 
we 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 bringing out the prophecies of how the Lord is going to punish you other nations. <clears throat> punish you other nations. This one next. This uh Proverbs twenty one and one. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord, as the rivers of water he turneth it whithersoever he will. Alright? That proves is no such thing as free will. Alright. You know, you people are under you know, through through Christianity and whatnot, you people are under that illusion that you're that you have free will. Alright? You think you have free will. <clears throat> and it also goes into that in Job, um, the 33rd chapter. About the, how the Lord, you know, controls our, uh, our, our heart, our, our path, you know. Seven. This is Jeremiah fifty one and seven. Uh Slaki. Jeremiah fifty one and one on on down to seven. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. And that how is that destroying wind is going to come about by those missiles? Because when when a when a missile uh detonates it it it, it, it sends out a wave. All right, a a a a a, ra a radioactive wave that's gonna, you know, destroy anything in its path, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her, and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. All right, and that's what these uh, EU nations are gonna do. They're all gonna launch their uh, missiles on Babylon, the Great America. And this this place is it's gonna you know gonna be be like a lake of fire. And over there in uh in the land of Israel, because you got the Amalekites over there, you know, the uh uh so called Jewish, which they're the uh, chief house of Esau. All right, verse three. Against him that beneath let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifteth himself up in his uh, uh, brigadine, brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Thus, uh, thus the slain shall fall in the land of, Ch of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, Yahweh of the Lord of hosts. Though their land was filled with a, with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, we went off and you know we broke the covenant with Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Alright, but in these last days the Lord is about to save his elect. You know, and he's he's about he's about to punish these other nations for thinking, you know, that they was better than us or you know, that they was gonna rule over the Lord's people. Hell no, the Lord was just punishing his people for a short amount of time. All right. <clears throat> and and once we get uh once the Lord uh give us the kingdom, all right, the Lord is going to put the laws in our inward parts. When it, when you goes to Jeremiah 31 and 31. All right, Jeremiah 51 and 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. His soul be not cut off in her iniquity. 
for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. And you're supposed to flee out of this place mentally and spiritually. All right. <clears throat> And it says, Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, meaning America's philosophy, you know, democracy and all that is, is this whole Western mindset. Uh, that wine, the nations have drunken of her wine, the, therefore the nations are mad. Uh, okay. All right, so, you know, these other nations fed up with America. They done taking your shit. You know, they've been, they been wanting some, 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 uh, some payback, you know. Um, I was going to get rebel. You know, due to the you know the constant traffic coming in and out, cause you know at this park they about to have a soccer game. I'm gonna just this will be the last one. Um, this Revelation nine and twelve, one woe is past, and when it's the you, you know, when it's these different woes is talking about destruction. You know, World War three. I mean, World War one already came. World War two already happened. All right, but the third woe haven't happened yet. Is is about to happen. One woe is past, and behold, there cometh two woes more, more hereafter. All right, and the whole chapter Revelation nine nine gets into that. All right, Revelation uh the whole chapter Revelation nine the whole chapter, you know it's, it speaks on uh World War One and World War Two, you know, <clears throat> and it tells you it prophesies that World War Three is going to happen. You know, and that's that's all through the scriptures, including the apocrypha. All right, that was it on that. You know, want to end it off on giving all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Hawakakwadash. Double honors to my elder apostles, of great millstone who rule and teach well, and honors and salutations to the Akimah, great millstone pushing his truth throughout the four corners. A ball, ba ball, and Kwame Yashala. Shalom.